This is a petition warrant article. Thank However, you. it is not finished or signed. Um, this is preliminary. At this point, sir. Thank you. So, the reason why we're here, I know that you, you want to introduce yourself. I'm sorry, I'm Norm Hurley, uh, 472 High Street. Um, I am uh, working with the Grismo Dam Group uh, for the last few years, trying to get this thing, this project to completion. Uh, I want to first state that, uh, quite honestly, uh, we uh, worked very well with the board, with with the uh, DPW. DPW has been keeping us informed. Things have sometimes seem to be a little bit slow in, in uh, getting information back from from uh, engineers. However, we're at at the uh, I think the final stage is now. Uh, it was a if, to recall back in 2015. It was a petition warrant article to change the warrant from the year before to uh, raise and appropriate the money to repair the dam versus uh, removing the dam. Uh, so uh, at that. Because of that, we're back with a petition war article to finish the project. Uh, the project has come in uh, approximately $100,000 more uh, than the, uh, the original uh, estimated cost of opinion, which was done about five years ago and actually done for the previous board. That's where we got our figures from. We thought we had put, a, put aside all the monies needed. But uh, after all that said and done, I'm pretty sure that the uh, – DPW came in a couple weeks ago and explained to you guys that the the, the uh, uh, bids came in and what the prices were at the bids at that time. So we we're asking for $100,000. We're asking for $100,000 to come from the uh, unsigned uh, fund balance. Uh, and we're asking for pretty much the blessing of the, the board on that as well. The reason for that is it's still the town's responsibility um, for this as well. Even though it's a petition war, our petition was to change what was actually happening. But the state of New Hampshire had put forth a uh, letter of deficiency stating that the town was required to do something to the dam, either remove it or repair it. And then they also followed up with some strong language saying that if the town elected to do nothing, they were going to start a daily fine. I don't recall the dollar amount, but it was quite hefty. Um, the, the board previous to this warrant article that we put in, put in a warrant article to remove it. We got a uh, citizens group together and asked it to be changed from remove to repair because uh, it was tied into the Grismal uh, building itself and the Grismal Dam. So that's where we're at now. I have uh, proposed wording. The reason why it's not finished is we really would like to try and find some way to get this up to the Department of Revenue Administration to make sure that it meets all the requirements of the Department of Revenue Administration so we don't get it thrown out at the end of this project. Um, it, you know, the town's still required, regardless of whether this passes or not, to finish some sort of something on this project. The state has required them to either remove the dam or repair the dam. Um, so it is still as much the town's responsibility as we're trying to make it some of our responsibility to try and get this thing brought to completion. Um, I do want to thank uh, Jen Hale and Fred Welch and uh, Chris Jacobs for their assistance. They kept us informed all along. Um, we're happy with the way things have been going. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> we were like it done three years ago. However, we know how, how things work, and you have to go out to bids, you have to do engineering, and, and you know, and uh, all the permits required. So here's where we're at. Um, again, I'm going to ask the board permission to talk to the DRA or have someone from the board or here or, or read to talk to the DRA to make sure the wording is is usable um, for this petition article, warrant article. Um, I'll, I'll, or I can ask a uh, one of our reps to bring it up as we did last time and they, they brought it forth to the DRA and made sure our wording was correct. Um, also looking for any input that you may have and insight that you might give to this. We can ask the finance department because they're in constant contact with DRA at this time of the year. We can send this, this warrant article up and see if it meets muster for them. Okay. 
<clears throat> this Warren article has to be in by when? The 9th. The 9th. Of January. January 9th. So we got a little bit of time. We do. All right. And since it's a petitioned Warren article, do we take, we don't. You have to you have to make a recommendation on it once the warrant article is submitted. Yes. Okay, once it's submitted. But it hasn't been submitted okay. as of yet. So <clears throat> we will take this. We'll transmit this tomorrow if the board approves. Okay. Regina. Yes, I would like to. Do you need a motion for that? No, just direction. I think that's a good idea. Rusty. Ditto. Bill. Uh, two thumbs up. Okay, and a little history of this. Just can we do a brief history? I mean, there's no such thing as a brief yeah. history on this dam. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there since 16 something or other. So uh, the state ordered us to do something with the dam, uh, and uh, there was a warrant article submitted uh, to remove the dam. Uh, that was voted. Uh, there was another warrant article submitted to, in fact, repair the dam. That was submitted. That was also voted on and approved as a second article. Uh, and we've been working on that now for almost two years, a little over two years, to try to get this done. Uh, and the town has invested substantial funds to get that done. So this is sort of the cap uh, to get that accomplished and finished at this point in time. That's kind of a really thin nutshell of what's going on here. Okay. So we will send this up. We will get back to you on the wording. So as we know. And uh, and you can write it up and submit it. Thank you, Wes. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks, Chief.